The coronavirus epidemic continues to grow. The number of people infected with the virus surged more than 3,000 overnight. This says two more evacuation flights from Wuhan, China, with more than 550 American citizens on board are scheduled to land at military bases in California early tomorrow morning. Now in Hong Kong, more than 2,000 striking medical workers are demanding that the government close its borders with mainland China. Hong Kong now has one confirmed death and at least 15 cases of the virus. In the U.S officials have identified a second case of person-to-person -person transmission, this time in California. The CDC is currently monitoring 82 people for potential infection. It seems that the virus spreads fairly easily uh, in, uh, when, when you're not isolating cases quickly. Now, the U.S. government is making nearly $250 million in emergency funds available. Some of that will be used to cover the cost of screening and observing returning U.S. citizens in the coming weeks. New at 530, Iowa to Sue's reporter Molly O'Brien sat down with a local infectious disease doctor who says there's still a lot to learn about the deadly virus. She joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. The coronavirus now responsible for more than 425 deaths. While concerns grow, an infectious disease doctor says this outbreak is not a shock to the public health community. The novel coronavirus continues to spread, infecting more than 20,000 people globally. Confirmed cases reported in more than 25 countries. Infectious disease doctor Penelope Dennehy says past outbreaks started much the same way. This is not a, at all a surprise. You put enough people together with animals and animal viruses usually don't jump into humans, but they can. To defeat the virus, world health leaders calling for the sharing of information. The Chinese have not been that forthcoming with information. And that's part of the problem. On a recent CDC call, then he learned there is still a lot to learn about the virus. How long people shed the virus, so how long they might be infectious. Um, just the degree to which it's it's spread from one person to another. Well, there are two confirmed person-to-person -person transmission cases in the U.S., and he says this coronavirus is not quite like SARS. It seems to be that the people that are most affected by this are elderly people, people with underlying disease. Um, SARS seem to have more, a broader reach. And like we mentioned before, the U.S. government making $250 million in emergency funds available to boost domestic testing capabilities. Now, Dr. Dennehy, very knowledgeable in this field. If you want to hear more from her on the coronavirus, we have an extended interview available on our webpage. Live in the studio, I'm Molly O'Brien with Eyewitness News.